Namaste. My name is Christy Abraham Kriyakos and today I will be doing a short live interview with Miss Polonia in 2019 or Miss World Poll in 2021, Carolina. So without much delay, let's begin. As all of our viewers are waiting to know, please give a short introduction about yourself. Your dreams, your you know what, aspirations, please say something about yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Karina Bielawska, I am Miss Polonia 2019 and I will also have an honor and privilege to represent my country on Miss World this year and I cannot wait to go to Puerto Rico and meet all the girls. I also study, I study management at Lodge University of Technology. Right now I'm writing my bachelor degree which is connected with branding and marketing, so the topics that I really like and enjoy. Uh, my biggest passion is traveling. I love traveling, meeting new cultures, new people, discovering beautiful places, trying to cuisine. This is something that brings me a lot of joy. And in case of my dreams and aspirations, I have a lot of them. I actually believe that there are no dreams that are too big to dream. <laughs> so I always dream big. And one of my dreams is, I believe, to, of course, fulfill my purpose and use the gifts that I was given. I like to speak, I like to write, so I would love to combine it in the future. Maybe one of my dreams is to write a book or become a speaker. Of course, Miss World is also a dream. But one of the biggest dreams is just to make, make a difference, you know, make a positive impact, to live the life which is significant. So it's simply connected with serving others and helping others and to leave something here which will be important. As you might know, India is struggling with COVID-19 cases. So, how is your country fighting with COVID-19? The COVID-19 situation in my country is not so well. It could be better because we have a lockdown in whole Poland, so everything is closed right now. And the restaurants, the shops, the gyms, like almost everything. We also today have a national holiday, so everyone is staying at home. Um, but I hope that it will get better soon and that it's better than it used to be. So I believe that when more people will be vaccinated, it will be even better. So I hope for the best. With your selection in 2019 and Natalia's in 2021, we know that Poland is hungry for the Miss World crown. But the last time Poland won Miss World was in 1989 with Anita. Does that give you any kind of pressure? Yes, uh, it was a long time ago since we had Miss World crown here in Poland. But I'm not sure if it's a bigger pressure. The pressure is always there because I would love to represent my country as well as possible and to make my country proud. But what I can promise that I will give 100% what I can. We all know Miss World is happening in December 16. But are you in contact with any of your Miss World 2021 sisters? Yes, we are in touch because we created a WhatsApp group so we can contact one another. And I also had an honor to do some live interviews with the girls from different countries. And it's just such a great thing to meet all those incredible women. I really cannot wait to go to Puerto Rico to make those kind of friendships that can last for, for years. If I am to come to Poland after the COVID ends and you are my best friend and you are taking me around, which all are the places I must see and which all are the cuisines that I must try? So if you will come here to Poland, and I hope you will one day, there is so many beautiful things to see because actually we have everything. We have mountains, we have sea, we have villages, we have cities, so everyone will find something exciting here. A uh, few of my favorite cities would be uh, Krakow, I think it's very charming, great history, all the kings were there, and yeah, I think you will fall in love with it. It's, it's super romantic, but you know, also have its own charm. Uh, I also love our Polish mountains, there are a lot of different uh, cities that we can enjoy, and the views are amazing, the nature is beautiful, and the climate in Polish mountains is also very specific. Uh, we also have, of course, seaside, and one of my favorite cities at the seaside would be Gdańsk. Um, it's slightly different, like all those places that I'm describing to you, they're completely different, different vibe and, <laughs> and different architecture, almost everything. Uh, of course, I will also invite you here to my city. I live in Łódź, and it's in the middle of Poland, and it's uh, a little bit more like, you know, in the loft style, we had a lot of fabrics here in Łódź, so everything is made from bricks and it also has its own charm. And the capital of our, of our country is Warsaw and it's slightly more modern, 
so I think it's also nice for the tourists from abroad. And what else? Well, also we have something very nice connected with the lakes and it's called Mazure and you have different beautiful lakes, the nature is great and it's also very popular when it's a little bit warmer in Poland just to go there fishing or I don't know, for a little boat and enjoy your time with friends. So I believe that you will love that. And in case of our cuisine, so first of all, everybody who comes to Poland needs to try pierogi. This is our like national and traditional dish that everyone loves. And those are like dumplings and you can have it with different fillings. Uh, my favorite would be with meat. Yeah, I'm a meat lover, I'm not vegan. But, but it's very delicious and I believe that you will also like it. We have some like typical dishes, like for example, sabowy. We have different soups. I love soups and soups are very popular here in Poland. So there is a lot of good things to try, but you also have to know that our cuisine is a little bit happy. So it's not like a fit lifestyle here in Poland. We don't care that much. But of course, if you would like to do sports, we have a lot of beautiful bike rides and places to see, visit or to hike. So you can also enjoy this. As a woman, what is your biggest strength and what is your biggest motivation? Or who is your biggest motivation? My biggest strength and motivation. So I believe that something that really sets me apart is my passion and faith. With combination of those two, you can move the mountains literally. Passion is something that really push you through things, to help you to cross the boundaries, to achieve more. You know, I'm a very ambitious person and I always believe for best. I believe that uh, if we have dreams, we always have a way to accomplish them. And if this is our purpose and something that we are literally good at and we are gifted in this area, we can do it. And what I do, I always try to focus on my gifts and try to publish them. Our gifts are the things that we do absolute best with the least amount of effort. And if we go that way, we can really accomplish a lot. And also what motivates me, I think, is my family and my friends. I uh, like my mom, for example, she's my biggest supporter. She's a great motivation for me as well. And a role model that I would like to follow. And there's a lot of things, but I believe that passion really, it's really important. You will not meet a passionate person who doesn't have an energy to follow the dreams. Well, when you joined Miss Polonia 2019, was Miss World your target pageant or was it like, I'll do my best and I'll be happy with whatever I get? Yes, when I was joining Miss Polonia, I knew that the winner will go to Miss World and that was my biggest dream because to me Miss World is something so much more than just a beauty pageant. You know, thanks to Julia Molle, I cannot even say that it's a beauty pageant anymore because the Miss World, she is the whole package, you know, there are so many different categories that the girl can try the skills, uh, the abilities and what I love the most about this pageant is beauty with a purpose. This is, this is something incredible. I cannot even imagine like the, how brilliant this idea is because the women from all over the world, they are competing in who will make more good for their community, for the country, who will help more people. Like this is so extremely beautiful. And also you have talents, you have fashion shows, uh, you have, you know, interviews, head to head challenge, which is also amazing sports, like everything in one. So. I truly feel honored that I can represent my country there. If we are to compare Carolina before Miss Polonia and Carolina after Miss Polonia, how has Miss Polonia pageant shaped you? Oh, I love the question uh, who I was before uh, Miss Polonia. I was the same person. I was the same girl, Carolina, but of course it helped me to grow, it helped me to change and uh, to develop myself, to develop my skills, my gifts and so on. And what I've learned through this journey, and I really, really honor that, is first of all, I thought that helping other people, like beauty with a purpose, is a mission of a miss. And right now I know that this is the biggest privilege that I have, that I can use my platform, that I can use my voice to stand for the causes that are really important for me. And, you know, to inspire others, to help others through my platform, like, this is the biggest change that I had and it was the change from the inside out. You know, I needed to change my attitudes, my, my behavior, my way of thinking about it. And then it literally changed the world. 
and I've met so many incredible people when I became Miss and I also think that everyone we met on our path had an influence on us and they can change us somehow so I'm very grateful for it. I also discovered a few of my talents like first of all I, I had the opportunity to speak more and I believe that speaking is one of my gifts. I had the possibility to host the events which I really enjoyed also to try myself doing interviews or the public speaking Speaking. And I really think that this is due to this title, that I can recognize it and that I can go for it. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity. If possible, can you share some details about your Beauty with a Purpose project? As we all know, the hurt and soul of this world is the Beauty with a Purpose. Can you share some insights about your one? So my Beauty with a Purpose, I, I don't treat it as a project anymore, you know? I treated it at first that I wanted to make a big project and, you know, to impress the rest of the world and so on. And then I really gave up on this idea and I created it as a lifestyle. You know, whenever I see the chance to help, I try to engage myself. And if I can use my platform to help somebody else, I, I do it with, with joy and with a smile on my face. And when I started, I started with an action which is called Corona Zgłowy. We created it with Miss Polonia organization and it was like the COVID-19 pandemic started here in Poland and we wanted to help people. And, you know, we organized the packages with all the important stuff like masks, clothing, food and whatever was missing. And we've been sending in in the places like orphanages, single mother houses, places for seniors and so on here in my hometown, Łódź. And then I was so surprised because the action spread for the whole Poland uh, through, you know, um, interviews, TV and so on when I was talking about it. And then uh, the pl public places from the whole Poland were writing us that, oh, we are lacking the mask and the gloves and we started to send it. So it was very, very beautiful. Uh, then I also became an ambassador of I Touch, I Win campaign, which is connected with prevention of uh, breast cancer. And it is strictly directed to women. And I'm very happy because I'm also a woman and I can inspire the rest. And it is like the education from scratch. So we are uh, trying to, you know, convince the girls that they can self-examine their breasts regularly and so on and so on. But right now I can say that the beauty with a purpose part that I'm the most connected with and it's the closest to my heart uh, is the action called Pana Petrinia. I become a volunteer in December and every week I go there and it's like a whole day. We spend Sundays on serving others. So we are cooking for around 300 homeless people uh, every week and we are also providing them with a medical support, with clothing, uh, you know, we are trying to meet them, to talk to them. and. Maybe it seems to be a little because it's, you know, making uh, food packages and so on and so on. But for those people, it's very important. They come here every single week to see us, to talk to us, to, you know, receive food, because very often it's the only hot meal that they can have. And it all started in a very random way because it was like my friend saw a huge queue of people who seems to be needy and in a bad condition. And she called me and she's like, they are waiting for something, but I have no idea what for. And then we tried to, you know, discover what was it about and we find Zupana Petrinia. And I decided to become a volunteer. And now we have more actions planned and I would like to uh, focus my YouTube purpose on this and to help more and more. set of questions are from your fans around the world. And the question from Pageantopia is, if we are to call your three friends right now, what will be the three words they might use to describe you? Oh my god, that's a good one, but I hope you will not call them because they are unpredictable and no idea what they would say, but if I would try to guess, I think that first of all they would call me open. I'm a very open person, I, I like to meet new people, you know, from different cultures, different countries, with different points of views, different backgrounds, like I really love meeting people and you know to get to know them uh what i also love to do is to add value to people i once made the decision to do it constantly so yeah i really like this kind of interactions so i i consider myself as open and uh, the second one i think they can call me funny yeah I, we always like to laugh with my friends and i laugh a lot it's easy to make me laugh i smile a lot i'm very cheerful and i like this kind of goofy stuff and i have a huge distance to myself so that would be the second one. 
And the third one, <sighs> maybe dreamy or ambitious. Something between those two, because I always chasing my dreams and I don't like to give up. I, when, I, when I have a dream, I will try to do my best to make it happen. So, yeah, and my goals. So ambition, dreamy, like combined. So that would be the third one. Well, uh, the next question is interesting. If, we, if you are to face your deepest fear for a good cause, what will you do? Run away from the situation or face it with guts? Well, if I need to face my fear, but it would be for a good cause, I will do it and I will do it proudly. I know that it would be very difficult, but you know, there are a lot of situations in life that I wanted to do something good and it seems to be difficult, uncomfortable and so on and so on. But I believe that great things started when we are leaving our comfort zone and when we are afraid of something. When we, are, for example, are afraid what other people will say, what uh, if they will criticize us or not, if I will manage to, you know, make this huge step there or, you know, take risk and this kind of things. And if I will knew in my heart and in my head that what I'm trying to accomplish is good and it will help others and it will have a positive impact on somebody, <sighs> you know, I will try to do it as bravely as possible. Last year, we saw a lot of racial inequalities around the world, be it Black Lives Matter or Asians are humans. So, if you are to travel to any part of the world and someone put forward a racial joke against you, how will you convince them that you are a proud Polish woman? Well, I fortunately I know that there is a lot of racism right now in the world, but well, I would not even see myself in a position that I need to convince anyone that I'm proud that I'm Polish. Of course I am, I love my country, there are so many beautiful things about Poles that I really love, our famous Polish hospitality, that no matter who comes to our country can feel like home and we welcome them with an open arms. There we have a also a rough history that I'm proud of that we survived, we, we are very proud of it, we never feel ashamed. And I believe that in case of racism, I would love to prevent it somehow and, you know, to make people proud of their countries because they are all unique and special. And of course, all of them have pros and cons and so on and so on. But the actions like Black Lives Matter are like actually a good start because we need to, you know, make society more aware that we are we are all equal and nobody is better or worse due to the race, due to the country they were born in or the color skin or their hair color, whatever that is. We are all equal and we are all unique, beautiful and special. And the last question for you today. Consider you win this world and you came to know that a couple in rural India is planning to abort their child just because of the reason that the child is a female. How will you convince them that, you know, a female child is no less than a male child in any aspect? You know, to be honest, if I were in this world or if I were not, if I will have a chance to talk to somebody in India and try to convince them that women are equally important as men and women are brilliant, powerful and beautiful beyond measure, I will do it as boldly as possible. Nobody has a right to decide that those children are more important than those ones, you know? And gender is not the case, race is not the case. We are all equally beautiful, but in the same way we are special and unique. And everybody has a chance to view their opinions, to be who they want to be. And I would say that it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. You know, what really matters at the end of the day is what kind of person are you, how you treat other people, how you behave. And we all have a right to live our life in the best way possible, to have a beautiful life and enjoy it to the fullest. So I believe that it will happen. And I want to thank you so much for this wonderful interview. I really enjoyed the questions and I cannot wait to see you soon. Thank you guys. I take this opportunity to thank Carolina because the moment we start to plan this life there have been a lot of hurdles in front of us but she always remained positive she was always calm she was always smiling and that kind of gesture you know will take someone a lot much forward that they can ever imagine and mark my words she'll be at top because that kind of a good soul cannot be ignored thank you Carolina for your efforts